You're watching ETF. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do another top five. This is my personal top five. Remember, always keep that in mind. And this one, we're going to talk about my five, my top five favorite Netflix shows. And these are not going to have any of the Marvel shows involved. So, <laughs> but these are the shows that I've watched that I really liked. And I kind of want to share it and see if you guys have seen it, see what you guys think. Or if you guys haven't seen it, maybe you want to go check it out. They're on Netflix. They're great shows. I like them. I think most of you will like them. And I think maybe there's a chance most of you might have seen them. So why not let's get started. Number five, Friends from College. Now, unfortunately, this show has been canceled on Netflix. However, there's still 16 episodes on the streaming service platform and even though the show is canceled, I still would recommend you go check it out. It stars Colby Smulders. Most of you know her as Agent Maria Hill from the Marvel Universe. It also stars Keenan Michael Key and Fred Savage. And Fred Savage plays Keenan Michael Key's best gay friend. A uh, very, very funny show with actually some serious elements added into it in terms of, you know, everyday life problems that couples go through. Um, how some people can't kind of grow up when they get out of college, how integrating your friends with loved ones can cause issues. And so there's actually some serious things that happen in the show, but it's also surrounded by some great comedy. I, I loved it. I'm very, very disappointed that they canceled it. But if you get an opportunity, you're looking for something to watch one day, I recommend it. They're not long episodes. Each episode's a half hour. So you can actually get through season one and season two pretty quickly. I mean, that's basically eight hours of um within the two seasons so i would check it out if you want a good laugh and if you like keenan michael key and fred savage and kobe smothers number four the oa now the oa is a very very interesting show and i do think it's an acquired taste but if you give it the investment of your time for at least the first two or three episodes of the first season i do believe you're going to get hooked it stars Britt marling who's actually also the creator of the show she's written she wrote the story and jason isaacs and basically, this one's about a little girl who gets kidnapped, and seven years later, she returns, um, and a lot of interesting things have happened to her. Well, when she got kidnapped, she was blind, and when she returns, she can see. Uh, as she returns, the story slowly unfolds about not only herself, but her family, and she also kind of latches on to a group of people who have really taken a kind of attachment to her. And she basically, she won't share her story with like the authorities or the FBI or even her parents to an extent, but she does share it with these people. And through that communication, through that exchange, they build this bond and a lot of special things kind of happen. Now, season two just came out and I've already watched season two and it was really good. Uh, so um, it's one of those shows that really make you think it has a lot of ambiguity in it. So be patient, you know, <laughs> because as questions get answered, more questions will rise. But nonetheless, it's still a very, very satisfying watch. Uh, it's become very popular. And um, I would recommend you check it out. It's one of my favorite shows on Netflix going on right now. Number three, Altered Carbon. Now, Altered Carbon is a sci-fi beauty of a show to watch. Great, great special effects for a streaming show you can tell once again netflix deep pockets are all invested in this stars james purefoy mike Kin michael kenneman excuse me and this story is basically like three four hundred years into the future pretty much there is no more death <laughs> nobody can die anymore basically everybody has a chip in the back of their head that basically they can upload to a new body and bodies are referred to as literally sleeves like basically you take the chip out you're like gone for a minute, you put the chip somewhere and you can make copies of your chip too, but this is only something like rich people can do. So anyway, the main character is basically part of a resistance that wanted to bring, kind of bring tradition back. You know, they, they believe that if you, you if you can't die, you lose that value on life. You, you, you lose that that purpose, you know, what makes life so good basically is the fact that it doesn't last forever. And you have all this time, you know, to yourself to make the best out of it. But once you start getting to the point where you can't die, well, then some really bad things happen. Like 
people in this show that are much less for, much less fortunate get treated like crap. Uh, it, it's a really, really good show. And basically, our main character is was imprisoned for a long period of time, and he wakes up in a different sleeve. And basically, he is hired by somebody to go out there and find this person's murderer, even though this person's rich. And it's it's <laughs> I don't want to give it away. I think I've even said too much at this point. But still, I haven't really I haven't spoiled anything. I promise. But it is a fantastic show. And uh, I, if you like sci-fi, like really hardcore sci-fi, it's not. It's fairly graphically violent. Um, and obviously, there's also. Just so you know, because I know some of you guys have kids. Definitely not for kids. <laughs> There's a lot of violence. There's also a lot of nudity and sexual content. But in terms of the story and in terms of everything that you, everything that it represents, everything that it presents to you, uh, the visuals, um, just such a good show. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't checked it out yet, go see Altered Carbon. It is fantastic. A lot of fun, especially if you're a big sci-fi fanatic. Number two, The Ozark. This show <laughs> is just great, great to watch. And it stars Jason Bateman, Laura Linney, Julia Garner. And a lot of people compare this show to Breaking Bad. I wouldn't say it's exactly like Breaking Bad. Like I, Breaking Bad is still probably much better. But this show is really kind of catching up. And basically, the story is about Marty Bird, who's played by Jason Bateman, basically ups his family and moves to the Ozark. <laughs> uh, he's involved. He's involved with some not so great people who he's worked for for a number of years, and something goes bad. I don't want to give it away, but it, it, you find out right away. Like there's no wasting time. You know from episode one what the hell is going on, and basically. He ups his family to the Ozark where things just get crazy. I mean, here's a big city boy, a big city family going to <laughs> just to the, the over there for them. You know, <laughs> just, you go from a big city to a forest and, a, a, you know, like a, a forest kind of community. Like the houses are so far apart from each other. And it's just it's a big change. But. Through this change, he has to continue to do the work that he would normally would be doing. And it's much harder to make the kind of money he was making while living in the city. And I'll leave it at that. Then from there, things go crazy. And you meet these compelling characters. Some of these characters have a twist to them that you just do not see coming. And uh, it's really, really good. Julia Garner's character is actually one of my favorites. Because she's got, you know, her, her relationship with Marty Bird is very interesting. You'll know exactly what I understand when you watch it. If you have not seen The Ozark, go watch it. There's two seasons on Netflix right now. It's one of the best shows on the service, in my opinion. And um, yeah, what are you wasting? Don't waste time. Turn off the video. You can come watch it later. Go watch The Ozark if you haven't seen it yet. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Number one, Black Mirror. Now, here's a show that if you haven't seen yet, do yourself a favor, go and see it. This show is just fantastic, especially if you like mind-bending and thought-provoking kind of content. And it's not the kind of show that has one episode, two episode, three episode, and they're all connected with the same characters. Uh, it's kind of more like a Twilight Zone for the modern day. Uh, but there have been notable people or notable uh, actors in the show. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, actually, she's in one of my favorite episodes. Uh, Haley Atwell, for those of you who don't know, from Captain America. And another uh, other characters as well that you'll definitely find familiar as you go through each episode. Now, there's like four seasons, but every season doesn't have a set number of episodes. In fact, if I recall, I think season one has like three or four episodes. And then season two has like six or seven. And then so on and so forth. They just random. It changes a lot. You can get through the seasons rather quickly if you're really doing a hardcore binge. But what makes this show so good is that all the stories are not too far in terms of what they're trying to show. The technology they use and the concepts between, behind how that technology evolves from where we are now is really what gets you to think. For example, Bryce Dallas Howard's episode that I was referring to as one of my favorites is a very heavily social media episode where people are working and everything is dependent on your rating on a platform like Facebook. So, for example, 
you can go to the store and you can get yourself a coffee. And if the, the person behind the coffee table is very nice to you, you can rank them five star rating. And then they rank you depending on how you treated them. And those ratings that everybody you interact with that what they give you, that determines whether or not you can buy a house that determines whether or not you can buy a car. It's sickingly kind of like, whoa, you know, so, and that's just an example. And it's not a big spoiler there because you got to watch the episode to see what happens. But that's just an example of how the episodes really kind of cater to some of the things we're dealing with now in terms of technology and how it's evolving. Now, there are some episodes that really take you far into the future and are very ambiguous. For example, the episode Metalhead. I'm not going to give that one away, but when you watch Metalhead, you'll understand where I'm coming from. It's a, it's a, it's a great episode. But it's very ambiguous. You don't really know what's going on there. You just know that there's some crazy shit happening to a very small handful of people. I won't say any more. There's some other episodes that are a little bit more out there. But overall, the show is just phenomenal. It is phenomenal. If you have not seen Black Mirror, do yourself a favor. Don't bother with any of the other shows that I mentioned if you haven't seen them. And go watch Black Mirror first. Then you can watch the other four in whatever order you want. But uh, yeah, Black Mirror is definitely, I think, probably Netflix's top show. Um, even if you think about like the Marvel shows. like Those are great, don't get me wrong. But in terms of good storytelling, thought-provoking, yeah. Black Mirror is the one to watch. And that's it. Those are my top five shows to check out on Netflix. You got... Friends from College, which unfortunately is canceled, but if you like good comedy, if you like Keenan Michael Key, then I would suggest checking that out. Then, of course, number four, we had the OA. Very ambiguous, thought-provoking show. Uh, not so much about technology like Black Mirror. More of spiritual, I think is a good way to put, put it. Uh, of course, number three, I had Altered Carbon. Just straight-up action, hardcore sci-fi. Number two, we had the Ozark. Again, good storytelling Something a little much more grounded in compared to some of the other shows. And then, of course, the number one, Black Mirror, which is just, I consider it to be a masterpiece of a show. So, anyway, guys, have you seen any of those shows? And if you haven't, have I garnered your interest in any of them at all? If you have seen them, let me know in the comments below what you think about them. Or if there are any other shows not Marvel-related now, that's too easy. Any other shows on the Netflix platform that I didn't mention that maybe you've seen that you want to recommend definitely leave it in the comment section because if I haven't seen it, I'm definitely going to want to check it out. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. I got to stop that beep. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.